Uh, like a lot of you, I've been using chronographs for, well, pretty much as long as I've been shooting uh, F-Class. And, you know, I've used um, three or four different brands. Uh, I've used, obviously, Labradar, which is Doppler. I've used Magneto Speed. I've had three different Magneto Speeds. Uh, I've had uh, the Auto Trickler 2-Box Chrono. Um, I'm trying to think. I've, I've used a couple others but never owned anything else. So I've owned, like, five different chronographs total. And, you know, they all have their pros and cons. I think a lot of people really like the benefit of a Doppler chronograph because you're not, uh, you know, having to attach anything physically onto your gun. And, you know, that's a big plus for a lot of people because of harmonics and stuff. Anyway, I've been talking to this guy, working with him since last year um, out of Europe. Uh, he's been working on a revolutionary new Doppler radar unit. And uh, I just got it in the mail yesterday. So, yeah, full disclosure, I did not pay for this unit. It was being sent to me as a beta test. Uh, before I show you anything, please understand this is a beta unit. It is not indicative of what the final production model will look like. Everything here is 3D printed. My understanding is that most, if not everything, on the production models will be injection molded. And I believe there are going to be multiple color options which I think is pretty cool. I don't know what the colors are yet, but I, I know he's talked about several colors uh, that you can choose from. So, here you go. It's in this box. You ready? There you go. That is the SQI Andy X. That is the entire, look at that, smaller than my cell phone, a little thicker than my cell phone, but smaller than my cell phone. Let me turn it on real quick. So that's the Andy Scan. And uh, it runs off of an internal battery. You can also charge it off or uh, run it off of a, a battery pack. It does have a four light uh, battery indicator, so I'm about halfway through the battery right now. It's about how it came charged. Um, this is going to be a very quick walkthrough before I use it. I just was so excited I just had to make a video. Uh, it does have USB-C, which I think is fantastic. Let me show you what's great about this. One, it comes with this little carry unit. So you can throw it, throw it in your range bag. You're not going to worry about damaging it. Um, I think that is fantastic that he thinks ahead with that. It comes with a bunch of different mounts. And I've already kind of pre-set up a couple different ways to use this. But, I mean, it comes with, like, different mounting hardware. It comes with some different pick rails. Uh, and it comes with, obviously, a charging cord. But let me just show you what's really neat about this. Um, it is only... So this whole unit weighs just over 5 ounces. Okay, so it's super light. And it comes with, I've got a couple of the mounts already hooked up, so not everything's even represented, but it comes with everything you need to get started. So this would be an under barrel pick mount. So if you've got, um, you know, a rifle with something under the barrel, um, you know, underneath your stock, you could have this. And then there is a sort of a the universal hanger. It's over here on this one. So there's this little this little bracket. You would just change it over to this one here. And you can move it around. It comes with a couple. I've got one on another mount that I'm going to show you. Uh, so this is like a side a side pick mount rail that it hangs on. And all it does is these little tabs. It just sits on those tabs. See? So it's just boom. And you can, if you want to turn it this way, you can go that way. It don't matter. If you want to go a little bit higher, you can hang it higher. If you want to hang it lower, you can hang it lower. If you want to go all the way down, you could probably do that. But I probably wouldn't. So you got two mounts there, which is really strong. And I've done a couple different things. So here is just a regular tripod, and it comes with just a simple quarter 20 uh, mount. This just screws on, and then you can just stick your, your chrono right there. So that's one option. Okay. The other option is on the side of my T-Rex, I just took some double stick tape. Um, and I, I, would, you know, I would beef this up a little bit, but just for the sake of getting it up and running. And then all I did is take the side pick mount rail, and it just goes right on here. So now on the side of my T-Rex, I can hang this and it just sits right there. Super easy. And then over on my gun, you know, imagine like, especially PRS guys who have just a ton of pick rail options on their gun. I just have this one coming off uh, the top of my, my pick rail. And it just sits there like that. All right. And I can move it to the left side if I wanted to. I have, I have a left port, so I'd probably leave it on the right side just so it's not visually obstructing me. But, you know, you can pretty much mount it wherever you want. If you have, uh, you know, maybe you've got pick rails somewhere on, uh, you know, your ring mounts. 
you could certainly just use one of these adapters and then just mount it up. You know, you could just put it up here and mount it off one of your rails. You could put it sideways off your thing here. Anyway, a lot of adjustability. Uh, you know, it runs off your Wi-Fi instead of Bluetooth. So uh, there is an option in here to turn on the Wi-Fi and then you just connect kind of like you would to like a shot marker if you're familiar with that. Um, you know, I don't know how well that works yet. I'm going to try it out tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to test this against my existing uh, chronograph system and see how it runs down. But I just wanted to give everybody a really quick view at what I think is going to be a very strong competitor in the uh, in the chronograph market. Uh, this size, I mean, I just I think about traveling to matches where I don't want to take my chronograph because it's just one more one more thing. Um, you know, I can throw this in a bag very easily. And if it's a practice day, I can get some velocity data and be able to make some, some tweaks or tunes if I need to. Um, again, I just love that it has this really simple but effective uh, storage case to keep it in. Like, that's pretty hard to beat. So um, I don't know what the final price is yet. I want to say it's going to be somewhere around $800, but I don't know for sure yet. Um, I think that's what it's tentatively listed as. But... Um, you know, I'm sure that that could change up or down a little bit. Um, anyway, super excited to test it out. I'm going to take it out tomorrow and do a bunch of stuff with it. I'll put out another video on that, and then we'll just keep using it in our uh, regular load development videos and uh, run with it. So anyway, there's your first look at the Andy scan, and uh, enjoy. Talk to you guys later.